G'day guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Now, deep in my adventures of YouTube late at night, I come across a lot of unique and wacky stories. I've stumbled across a bloke who only eats mac and cheese. Let's go and meet him. Like walking into here, there's nothing in here that's like, oh yeah, I might want to try that. I've tried celery. I threw that up instantly. Weird flex, but okay. If I was trying to convert someone to vegetables who just couldn't stomach them. I don't think I'd start with celery. I feel like you could start with something a little bit better. I don't want to say I'm addicted to mac and cheese, but because it sounds so weird, but like my body won't let me eat anything else. That sounds like something I would say to my mom back in the day to try and trick her into getting Maccas for the night. Listen, mom, I'm going to be frank with you. It's not my fault, but my body won't let me eat anything but a happy meal. I'm as gutted as you are, mom but uh, we're gonna have to run along to Macca's. Why do they have so many broccolis, you know? Do you eat the bush? What is this, a 70s porno? Go, bro. Oh my word! That is subpar comedy. But that's the level we're gonna be at for this video. It's weird for me to think of eating any food that's not yellow. My name is Austin. Cookson! And for the past 17 years, I've eaten almost nothing but mac and cheese. 17 years is a long time to eat nothing but mac and cheese. For me, it was a bit of a craze after school. Like, people really got into it. They'd chuck their mac and cheese into the, uh, the microwave and dig in. It's never been for me. I've never really gotten around it. I, I genuinely don't like it. I don't think I've ever really met anyone who said, oh, I don't like mac and cheese. Austin, I don't like mac and cheese. I love this cheese, man. This is some good ass cheese. He loves that cheese. He doesn't f with vegetables. I just don't think me and this bloke have anything in common. Anything in common? I eat with some silverware. I'll just take a seat at my desk and normally I'll just watch some YouTube while I eat. All right, we have a little bit in common. I'm sick of it, but in the same way, like, I don't want anything else, you know? I feel like that clip there could be like the next relatable meme that goes viral. Me scrolling through TikTok at 3 a.m. I'm sick of it. But in the same way, like, I don't want anything else. Watching nothing but the same TV series over and over. I'm sick of it, but in the same way, like, I don't want anything else. When David Dobrik uploads another video. I'm sick of it, but in the same way, like, I don't want anything else. Even if I like what I'm trying, I'll still have, like, this just kind of involuntary gag. If I don't like it, sometimes I've actually just straight up thrown up. I feel bad for this bloke, like he's got a serious issue on his hand. Imagine if he met a girl and had dinner at the family house. Austin, it's great to have you over. I've been slaving away in the oven all afternoon. Appreciate that you've cooked for me, but I, I already ate. I, I already ate before I came. You just have whatever you can, just consume whatever you can. Even I if you don't finish don't, it, just I, consume I, whatever I, you I'm, can. I'm just actually try full, it. just try so Austin, I, I you probably might won't like eat it. Just give it a go, just give it a go. Just give, eat it. <laughs> Do you just eat an eggplant, like, just take a bite out of it, or, like, what do you use an eggplant for? Austin, put the eggplant down, mate. The only thing people use eggplants for is to send a dirty message. I think he had told me about it before that all he ate was mac and cheese, and it seemed kind of weird at first, but I don't really judge people. Probably count on two fingers the amount of time that I've brought up, like, my eating with Jarrett. I'm sorry, but is that not Dutchy? <laughs> there's an Austin in this video, and then there's a Dutchy. Where's my invite? I barely ever even really go out to eat with my friends because I know I'd just be sitting at the table with my plate of mac and cheese as opposed to everyone's full plate. A lot of people struggle to understand it. Yeah, that's rough. That's rough. If you go to a restaurant or something, you're ordering off the kids menu. Surely someone helps their boy out. He, he, he needs a chop out. I got up to like a really unhealthy weight because I stopped going to boxing. So like it's at, I'm at the age now where I know that my metabolism has slowed down. I, I definitely know that I have to maintain physical activity to keep myself fit. <laughs> Okay. It's to counteract my terrible, awful, carb-filled diet. He's putting in more of a shift than me, so respect. Respect the grind, Austin. He told me he had a mac and cheese diet, and I was like, what? Hey, hey, hey. I'm sorry, Zac Efron. You're going to have to start eating right if you want to go ahead and get in better shape. Leave our boy Austin alone, mate. I'm offended that he's potted our mate there. I just, I don't like this bloke. When it comes to mental health issues, if you can't talk about what's going on, then you can't get the help you need. I feel like a lot of men think that's a weakness when it's not. You know, if there's a problem, the weakness is ignoring it. All right, I'll take that back. Good bloke. You have a lot of insight. You're pretty motivated to do it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, for sure. So that way I can like slowly open up like what restaurants I go to and stuff. You, you know? want to be able to go to more restaurants. More restaurants, just be more social with, with, with eating. I'm not, I'm not going to sit here and say, mate, you got to get a different meal from every restaurant because I order the same thing. I just get the palmy chips and salad. This selective eating disorder has its hooks in me and it's just like holding me back. It's exciting thinking like I could get to a point where like I'm able to try new foods and possibly, you know, like them and enjoy them. Get around him. 
Get a random. <laughs> nah, that's class. Selective eating disorder. Never heard of it before. Get behind our boy Austin. Oh, I'm, I'm bloody, I'm getting around him. All right, guys, that was another video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found it entertaining. I'll leave the link to the full video down below. Yeah, I'll see you all in a video very, very shortly. Appreciate the support. Cheers.